It's a robust interactive session between men of the Nigerian military and media executives in Abuja. The objective here is to foster increased collaboration with the media to end terrorism. The Chief of Defence Staff, General Lucky Urabo, makes some disclosures and some arrested terrorists, including those responsible for the June 5th Catholic Church attack in Owo, Ondo State. He says investigations are still ongoing and the manhunt is still on to arrest and bring all perpetrators to book. It's my pleasure to also let you know that starting with the Owo Church attack, we have arrested those behind that dastardly act. It was my intention to present them to the public, but of course, because of certain you know, investigations were still carrying out, I had to, on the last count, change my mind and doubt. Otherwise, I would have brought them here for you to see them. But I'd like to say that in due course, you will see them. Not just those ones, but of course, those who have been at the heart of very daring attacks, those who have endowed, turned themselves to men of evil. But that's not all. Irabo and other officials explain how the Nigerian military is making quick wins, including long-term strategies to secure the nation. Let me say that it's not just only the armed forces that were involved, the DSS, the police, and of course other intelligence agencies were part and parcel of the effort to apprehend these criminals. As their interaction intensifies, there is an increased call for media practitioners to shun one-sided media reportage of terror attacks. Journalists are also calling on the military to re-engage the media in swift information dissemination to counter terrorist propaganda. Once there's a deadly activities by the terrorists, and the fact that the military are slow in responding, does it mean we must go with the statement of the terrorists before we wait for the response of the military? The moment you want to talk to the press, try to look at what could make the positive to be a positive report. The defense chief also reassures of the military's commitment towards the safety of lives and property during the 2023 general elections. Mary Chinda, Arise News.